And we are back for our final segment of hour number one of the Mark Hoke Show. Hoke, 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 Hoke. Yeah, baby. I like that. And Jay Holiday. Always bringing joy to everything he touches. Bring the energy. Yeah, you betcha. And now I'm going to tell him he's wrong. No, um, no, no, but here's, here's, here's my thing. We were talking about the, the automatic title shot that you get when you were, when King of the ring. And the one thing that to me that it complicates a little bit is if you've got a hot storyline or God forbid, you have an injury or something like that, that it, having that three pay-per-views out you know, can maybe mess things up a little bit. We've got a situation right now. And with this thing with drew and and punk now do you need to have the world championship involved in it no i i would grant you that it's red hot you don't need the title but it would it be fun to have it yeah of course it would and now if you want to involve it now you got gunther in the mix and then now you're going to have to have maybe punk and gunther meet and one of them's got to take losses you got to mix Drew in there too if you want to have that title involved. And, you know, it just kind of it, it, it gets a little crazy with the book because you get Damian Priest involved in this too. So, you know, you, and eventually one of them's going to, let's say Gunther beats Priest at SummerSlam. You know, Drew's going to want that title at some point. And at some point, you're going to have to send Punk after it. So you got to split this whole thing off and it's going to get messy. I have a way out. I have a real fun way out. Let's hear Money in the Bank's coming up. Uh-huh. Somebody's got to win that briefcase. Who's huh. your who's your early uh favorite? Who's your who you got winning the uh, men's money in the bank this year? How about Drew McIntyre? Uh how about Drew McIntyre? So let's just let's just say that Gunther ends up beating Damian Priest at SummerSlam. Then you're gonna set up eventually a punk. I would imagine you're going to get a punk Gunther match, right? I could see a really fun scenario where punk McIntyre and Gunther are rotating through the world championship situation. But could you imagine if punk gets, you get a punk Gunther match yeah, and punk manages to go through this match from hell to beat Gunther. And Drew has the case and takes the world championship away from Punk. Huh? I like it. Huh? It's I not like bad. It. It's not a bad. That's not bad. Not, not a bad hypothetical. Not a bad for Drew to get his cut. For Drew to get his lick back. I like it. Um, there's there's a lot of fun there, but I th- I think Drew getting the the money in the bank briefcase and possibly screwing over Punk at some point. Oh my God. You could be setting something really nasty up for WrestleMania. I think for now, I like that. I think for now, though, I think Punk has he has a he has a long path ahead of him to prove or to show the WWE brass uh, that he can stay healthy, stay healthy. Yeah. One and then uh, hang in a match like that with with, with a Gunther because Gunther has been putting on five star clinics. Gunther's been in matches. Uh, no less than maybe 15 minutes. Um, so for Punk to have that kind of like match with him, I don't even think Punk's gonna be in the World Heavyweight Title picture for a while until he can prove that yes, he can stay healthy, um, and yes, that he can hang. I gotta see, and then we gotta see him actually actually have a match on Monday Night Raw. Um, once he has something like that, uh, for a consistent basis on uh for back to back weeks. I think that will build up enough confidence for the WWE brass to put him in a WWE uh, heavyweight title picture. But for now, to like I said, to rebuttal the King of the Ring thing, three months out, yeah, it is. It is a pretty much of a stretch, but that is based to the money ties that they got with Saudi Arabia, and they felt like they needed to come out there with a big, lavish pay per view, which was King of the Ring, and then unfortunately, it was just so early, but. What what the King of the Ring 2002 undisputed championship winner stipulation did for Brock Lesnar, it, it it can't it can't be understated basically because this was a guy in his rookie year, he got a chance to work 
Hall of Famer legends icon in the in the in the mass of like six months. He he beat Ric Flair, he beat Booker T, he beat Big Show, he beat um RVD, and then uh he beat Hulk Hogan, and then he ultimately went on to to beat The Rock and he beat The Undertaker. He did all this in one year. So the the the, the catapult that this tournament can can launch Gunther in to after just losing the Intercontinental Championship after that record-setting reign, Mark. That record-setting reign that yeah, he had. And I, yeah, and I had no problem with him winning it. I just don't think he need. I think they could have done a, a slow burn on it as opposed to saying, well, here's a world championship match. Yeah, well, I, you know? But I, I, he kind of still is a slow burn because look how far out yeah. the championship match is compared to when SummerSlam actually is happening for him to have his title show. So it is still kind of a slow burn. You're still getting what you want. So I'm I'll, just, I'm, it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I'm just being a contrarian. I, I don't know. I'm excited. I, I could be right. I could be wrong. I'm you excited. guys can say it in the chat box, whatever you want. Let us know what y'all think. Yeah. Do y'all agree with the stipulation of this year in 2024, the winner of the Kingdom Ring tournament, getting an automatic championship match into the main event of SummerSlam for a title of their brand? I honestly, Mark, one last thing. I honestly would think that they could have added a stipulation letting the person at the key of the ring choose if they wanted to face the champion on Raw or SmackDown. There you go. All right. Well, hey, we're wrapping up hour number one. NJ Holiday firing them off. Matt Black's going to be joining us from WrestleZone in hour number two. So this should be a lot of fun because, oh, boy, Matt and NJ on the same show. Yikes. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. It's about to get spicy. (laughs) 